If you've ever tried to use Docker Compose with Google's Container Optimize OS, you know it's no easy task. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to walk through how to do exactly that. Hey team, Sid here with DevOps Directive, bringing you the information you need to level up your DevOps and cloud infrastructure skills. I make tutorials like this one, as well as some informational videos, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so my goal for today is to get this quick start, basic Docker Compose Django quick start up and running on a container optimized OS instance running in GCP. If everything goes successful, we will get this sort of hello world Django install screen, but not on localhost, on our VM at the domain of our choosing. I have already created that VM. Uh, you'll see it here. The key configuration options for this are to make sure it's running container optimized OS, to make sure it has access to Google Container Registry, and that is through the uh, Google Cloud Storage uh, role in the IAM settings. And then the uh, firewall needs to be set up to accept incoming traffic on port 80, which is how we will uh, access our web server. So I'm gonna go ahead and SSH onto that machine. First step of the tutorial is to create the Docker file. Then we're going to create the requirements.txt dependency file. And next, the Docker Compose YAML file. So the next step in the quick start walkthrough is to run this Docker Compose command. Now, unfortunately, on Container Optimized OS, Docker Compose is not installed by default, and because of the additional security features, we can't install it in the normal way. So we're actually going to need to run Docker Compose within its own container. Luckily, Docker provides an official image for Docker Compose, which can be found here on Docker Hub. And to run that, we would run Docker, run. I'm going to use the remove flag such that any stop containers get deleted. And then the name of the container. So docker slash compose. And I think the latest tag is 1.27.3. Okay, great. It looks like docker compose is running inside of its own container. Now, what if I try to run uh, that command that we wanted to to initialize the Django site? So I'll just append it to the end here. And of course, it can't find our code because inside the context of that Docker Compose container, it knows nothing about our files on the host system. So we need to mount into that container uh, a volume such that it can see our files. So let's do that now. The first mount, we're going to use our present working directory and map it to the present working directory inside the container. And then we need to change the working directory of the container to match that so that it'll find the correct files. We'll do that with the dash W flag. Oh, I forgot the dash V for my first volume. Okay, it's a different error this time, that's good. It means it found our Docker Compose file, but we're getting this exception from Docker itself. And the reason for that is that we haven't actually provided access from that container to the host Docker daemon. We can do that by adding one additional mount. So to do this, I'm gonna mount uh, the, the Unix socket where Docker is listening for connections into the container. I'll add a disclaimer here that doing this in a normal circumstance would be a terrible idea. There's lots of articles on the internet explaining why. Basically, it enables an attacker who gained access to your container to exploit that to extend that access and run additional container processes as root. Now, in our case, it's a little different because we have this Docker Compose container, which has no ports uh, accessible from the outside, and its entire purpose is to spawn additional containers. 
Uh, so it's not actually an issue in our case. Now we were able to successfully run that command to initialize our site, and we see that it generated a compose example folder, as well as this manage.py uh, file. So we can continue on with our Django quick start. Now the default Django configuration uses a, uh, sorry, a SQLite database. We're gonna update it to use a Postgres database. And we do that by modifying the settings.py file. And we'll find the section associated with the databases. There we go. And we're going to need to make one more adaptation of that settings.py file. Because we're accessing it from a domain other than localhost, we'll go here to this allowed hosts. And we'll add in uh, the domain that we're going to host this on. So I'm going to put it at. Uh, compose on container optimize os dot devops directive dot com. Okay, so at this point, we should be able to run Docker compose up and it will spin up our web server as well as the Postgres instance. And then we can map our domain to it and see it running in the browser. Uh, it looks like I missed a quotation mark. So I'll go add that in. OK, looks like it started successfully. Let me grab that IP address and map the domain to it. Action timed out. Let's see what we configured incorrectly. Ah, I forgot to map from port 80 to 8000. So the inbound request from the browser is coming on port 80. The web server is running on port 8000 inside its container. So I need to change this to 80 to map those two together. And there we go. It's live on the site. Now there's a couple of things that we still want to do. One, I can add an alias for Docker Compose within my bash RC profile that will enable me to not have to paste in or, or retype in that whole Docker run command with those volume mounts. We can handle that automatically. Second, we're going to need to set up access to the container registry. In this case, I built my container on my VM. Uh, but in the future, I would likely build that in a CI system like uh, GitLab or CircleCI or GitHub Actions. And so I want to be able to store that image in Google Container Registry and then pull it from, uh, from my Container Optimize OS instance. So the first convenience thing I'm going to do is add an alias for Docker Compose within my uh, Bash RC profile. And we take pretty much the exact same command that we had before, uh, this Docker run command mounted into the Unix socket as well as our current work, our present working directory and changing that workspace. And so if we save this, and then we run source on that file, now, rather than having to type that big long command, we can just do docker compose up. And it handles all that in the background for us. So the final thing that I want to showcase here is how to access Google Container Registry. I'm going to modify the docker compose file slightly. Rather than use the build directive like we're using here, we're going to replace it with the image directive. Now, if we do docker compose up, we get this unauthorized error. That's because we haven't configured our system to authenticate to Google Container Registry yet. Now, normally, you would run this command docker credential gcr configure Docker. It would set up the necessary permissions, and then we could pull the image. 
So right now we could do docker pull. And then we can pull our image successfully. We could then run it with docker compose up. And we're back in business. However, we want docker compose to automatically be able to pull our images. In order to do that, we're going to have to modify the docker compose image itself. I'll create a Docker file. And I actually found this example that provides uh, exactly what we need. So I could just use this one directly, but because this involves that mounting of the Docker socket, it seemed a little sketchy to do so. So I'm going to actually recreate this file, build it locally, and then use it, use the version that I built, rather than pull from this person that I don't know whose name is CryptoPants. We're going to add an additional line here to add a command such that we'll actually execute the Docker Compose uh, within the container when we run it. Now we'll modify our bash profile. Pulling the database image from Docker Hub, so that already worked before. But here we downloaded an image from Google Container Registry containing our web app, and now we're running it. Just to make sure it's working, refresh the page, and we see that we got that request. So there you have it. We were able to run this Django Quick Start tutorial on Docker Compose in a container-optimized OS virtual machine and authenticate to Google Container Registry such that we could pull private images uh, from that registry. This is a pretty powerful technique, and I hope that it helps you overcome any issues you've had trying to combine these tools, manage your container securely, and use Docker Compose together. That's it for today. I'm Sid from DevOps Directive, and remember, just keep building.